Okay, chapter two. I don't know if there'll be much of interest in this. We'll see. <coughs> Already I've walked past a spot where someone had dumped multiple plastic bags full of rubbish and the foxes have got into it and the rubbish has been strewn all over the place I personally do not blame the fox because they're just looking for food I blame the dirty motherfuckers who pollute this environment I mean rubbish collection is once a week if the rubbish bin is full, obviously they're producing too much rubbish for their own good. Ask a neighbour if you can put a bag of rubbish in with theirs. Or request another wheelie bin from the council. Don't take the bags to your local woods and dump them. It really, really grinds my gears when I see that. Fucking disgusting people. <clears throat> so one thing I hate about the UK, especially London, doesn't matter where you go, you can be miles away from any sort of suburban, urban environment and you're guaranteed to find rubbish, beer cans, beer bottles, cigarettes, stumps, filters, you know, chocolate wrappers, you name it. It's absolutely disgusting and I hate it. The little fish pond is down there. I covered that the last time I did this walk. Down there is a road that divides the west section of this wood with the east section. So what I'll do is, um, last time I walked down that way and further down and crossed over. But this time I'll cross over here. <coughs> Look at all the sweet chestnuts. And on top of the sweet chestnuts, everywhere you look, there are acorns. And acorn, if you haven't got coffee, you can get acorns, you can roast them up and grind them. And they become sort of like a poor man's coffee. I've not personally tried it. Yeah, we probably can't see it, but I'm pretty sure there's a squirrel up there throwing them. <laughs> Stupid humans. How nice is that house? If it wasn't for all that traffic, it's an absolutely brilliant spot. Here comes a local B11 bus. <coughs>
that road I believe is called Knee Hill that divides the woodland into two we are now on the east side of the woodland <coughs> this is also the side where Les Nose Abbey is smell cigarette smoke So we have uh, nettles from which you can make tea. We've got sweet chestnuts, which is a bush tucker, wild edible. And you've got acorns. Look at that. You should make a Bushman's coffee. And if you've got an air rifle, and you've got squirrels. And there are thousands of them th throughout here because they're the introduced American grey squirrel. Um, technically speaking, if, um, well, not technically speaking, there is actually a law that states if you catch an American grey squirrel, it is illegal to release it alive and shooting them is not a problem there's quite a bit of uh, meat on them because they're quite large they're twice the size of a native UK red squirrel just don't uh, expect to be able to survive on squirrel meat you can actually die from the protein starvation. There's so little fat on the American grey squirrel that you can have constant supply of that meat. But if you don't get any sort of fat to go with it, you can actually die of starvation because your body's getting pure protein and no fats. The common garden orb, I believe. Common gardens um, spider. Harmless. Somebody who lives on this side has got their own little private door that leads into the woods. that was my property I'd be capping that hole oh <laughs> well that's not just a hole speaking of grey squirrel
rubbish. Fucking disgusting. I hate those people. If you're one of those people who likes to throw rubbish in the wild and you're watching this video, here's a bit of advice for you. <clears throat> you would do the world a big favour if you took a long walk off a short pier. All throughout there, there's rubbish. Whoa. that way blackberries no longer in season they've come and gone blackberries or raspberries one of the two Acorns everywhere. And I am sweating profusely. It's uh, a squirrel is sitting there watching me until I turn the camera on it, then he ran off. Um, I still feel like I've got a fever because I'm still at the moment I'm waking up in the middle of the night with coughing fits and sweating but having chills so I guess I've still got a pretty bad viral infection but um, even when I'm sick like this I still like to get out of the house and um, get some exercise or get out into the fresh air. I really want to do that this this morning but I um, get off me <laughs> but um, I was just feeling too rough. There's a real thick blanket of fog this morning. Where is he gone? Sitting up there watching me. <clears throat> yeah, there was a beautiful blanket of fog this morning covering London. So if I wake up early enough tomorrow, if I remember to put the battery in charge tonight, if I wake up early tomorrow, I'll say if, um, and if there is another fog, then chances are high, then I just might try and come out and do a bit of filming. I'll uh, sign off for this bit and I'll see you further up the trail. Thanks for joining me. See you in chapter 3.